some say customization is a thing of the past. But after 20 years in this business, we're still standing. Never giving up. Always moving forward. As the industry has changed, we've advanced. It's about thinking outside the box and redesigning the wheel. Striving for perfection, even in the smallest details. Innovation instead of imitation. Always looking forward, but never forgetting where we came from. It's about hard work and dedication, making the impossible look simple. Some say customization is a thing of the past. I say it's the future. We are West Coast Customs. So it's that time of year again. It's the SEMA show, which is basically our Super Bowl of car shows. And for those people that don't know what SEMA stands for, it's Specialty Equipment Marketing Association. Everybody from around the world attends to this show. It's where everybody really builds cars for a couple years, getting ready for it, making sure everything's ready to really show their new products. And like West Coast Customs always does, we gotta go above and beyond what we did the year before or the year before that. So I'm gonna get with Scott. We're gonna figure out a plan on how to really make this all come to life. Hey. Hi. How's it going? Let's talk SEMA. Okay. You ready yeah. to have a heart attack times three? This is going to be exciting this year. It's got to be big. It's got to be better than anyone we've ever done. SEMA's expanded. They ran out of room at the convention center. Well, now they've put us in between the buildings. That long corridor? Yeah. It's not the greatest area, but they're obviously putting us in another area that they want to create hype at. Once they get there, I want them to stay and hang out and be like, wow, it was worth, you know, coming over here. We skipped last year, so every year it's got to get better. Now we got to be twice as good this year. We're going to talk to Chrysler. They're going to send us three cars that we're going to build out. The experience side, I think we got that on cruise control. Just the entertainment side, I think we should bump up. We got a lot to prove, and we have a lot of sponsors to uh, support on this. I feel like this year there's going to be a lot of interaction with our partners, which will be good. And that's why I really feel like it needs to be that next level. Make these partners do stuff in our booth, you know? Yeah. And so that way when people are coming, you see the car being built, you have entertainment over here, you have these guys showing their new equipment. It's just a full on experience this year. I wanna make sure it has a huge LED wall, a real LED wall this year, not a Christmas tree <laughs> LED wall. Is that the most important thing to you? For me, you, you know see that it is. every year, okay. Well, because the year before last, what did that thing look like? A Christmas tree light wall. Yeah, sad. Make sure we have a nice VIP area. So when those executives come in the booth, we'll be like, wow, what else can we do with these guys? I just want to make it where it's like this place. When people come, they want to hang out for a while. Yeah, you know, yeah. We're going to have a booth for Ish. Um, Wes will do his thing in his booth. Maybe we display some of our new product. I mean, just really the basics of the West Coast experience that we've always done but I just want to add something else to it. So, yeah, so I mean, I was thinking we bring Rhino out. Perfect. So I don't know how you want to do a booth. Well, I have a company that they make like a bouncy house for a paint booth. Oh, but wow. It's awesome. This is a logo I had Brad come up with for this year. And I talked to Red Cap, and these will be the shirts that we'll give out. So they'll be like our West Coast work shirts that the guys have. They screen printed it. Man, those guys cool. are awesome. So that's the start of a crazy week. Right. And then at the end of the day, we created a great experience for the fans to talk about till next year. Right on. So I just met with Scott. We just went over the SEMA plan. I think he knows what I want. He always handles it. The partners trust him with everything he does. So, you know, keep my fingers crossed that he pulls this one off. Now you got to have a lot of work. All right, man. Good luck, buddy. Thank you. So I got a lot of stuff to do and I got a lot of pressure on me, but we'll see what I can get done and I'll throw a few surprises out there for him. But I'm getting his LED wall. Ryan had some ideas, so we sent them over to Ernie at AES, and he sketched them up on a napkin. And now that we have the drawings from Ernie and we've approved them, now I require a mock-up, just so we're ready. And uh, Ernie's gonna be starting the mock-up very soon. So Ernie came up with some drawings. Now it's time that they build it. So me and Scott are gonna go down to AES. They're setting up the structure so we can really look at it. Whoa, this thing's pretty crazy. Whoa. 
I think Ryan was very surprised. This is probably the first booth that I'm actually very, very happy with. This is big. Is this what you thought? It is, it's a lot bigger um, in person than the picture. <laughs> well, the picture's only made by 11. Holy smokes. Obviously, pulling up to this, I was like, holy, you know what? This is way bigger than what I imagined. I mean, you see something like this, and you're like, oh my god. Ryan wanted to do a big display at SEMA, and uh, so we put together a really awesome display. Arches, big circles, 30 feet plus in the air, raised DJ platform, work areas, lighting, the whole deal. It Pretty gives impressive. a good perspective of what everything's kind of laid out. It's big, but it's, uh, it's awesome. Yeah, I like it. You're definitely going to have a presence there. That's what we need. How you doing, Matt? What's up, Ryan? Good, Good to, to see, see you. you. So we're doing it this year, huh? Uh, we're going to make it happen, finally. Oh, wow. I'm Eddie from King Size LED Displays, and we're located at San Diego, California. Uh, we're going to do it right. We're going to bring the wow factor. A couple of years ago, I went out to SEMA, and I was looking for Ryan because I knew I had a product that could bring that wow factor to his booth. And this year, we're finally going to make it happen. This being a 10 by 20 area, uh, this will be a perfect fit, uh, edge to edge. Fill up this nice back wall. So when you have your performances, you'll have a full wall behind the performers. And then we have the elevated DJ. The DJ is going up in the air. Nice. So, so right stairs. off of the VIP area, there's a spiral staircase that will go up to the DJ booth up in the air. I'll stay down here, boss. Why? I'm Are you scared know. up here? Don't fall, please. I get the impression <laughs> he's afraid of heights. You know, right underneath the circle with that LED, right underneath him, it's going to look amazing. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks organized. Yeah. It looks professional. Thank you. We wouldn't let it look any other way. Hey, I surround myself with smarter people than myself. It really takes you to the next level. And I think everything we're doing in the business right now, from the machinery to the clients to the brands that we're working with, everything's next level. Thank you, sir. You're the man. No problem. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good to see you, brother. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, it's awesome. And we've done some little pieces of it, but nothing like this. Is this, so this what you want? Good. Yeah. We spend all year trying to prepare for it, but it always comes down to the last two to three weeks of when everything gets done. And I think just seeing this layout, I don't have anything to worry about. We'll see you in a couple yeah. weeks. Cool. Thanks, brother. Thank awesome. you, man. This is what I've been dreaming of, and he's gonna see the dream come alive after we get done with this. So now we're gonna take this, pack it all up, put it into trucks, and take it to Vegas. So last year we missed it for a good reason. This year we're coming back. We're coming back better than ever. Everybody better get ready because this thing's going to knock everybody's socks off. It's time to take over SEMA with the West Coast Customs experience. AES is going to build a 118-foot by 57-foot structure. On one side, we're going to have a Praxair booth with the plasma cutter. Three build bays where the team's going to be building Chrysler cars. And in the back, we're going to blow up a Carcoon paint booth where Rhino's gonna teach his airbrush classes. On the other side, we're gonna have an accessories booth for the fans to check out our new products, and a stage with a huge LED screen, and of course, a VIP booth for some meetings. And towering above it all, a DJ booth to keep the tunes going all day long. Now it's time to get this party started. So the booth looks amazing, a lot bigger in person, so it was good that we walked it and got to see everything. But really, the next step is getting the shop loaded and get it off to Vegas. So we're loading everything up for the West Coast Customs 2013 SEMA experience. We got all the departments moving in. We have tire machines, wheel balancer, lifts, toolboxes, refrigerators, all the equipment we're gonna need for the vehicles themselves to build them. We got a lot of partners on board. So I gotta make sure all the parts, all the pieces, all the elements for the booth, the signage, really everything is on this truck. But I got my checklist and I got my guys. So the truck's loaded. Next stop, Vegas. So we've done this SEMA experience several different times, so really everybody on the team knows what they need to do. Now the next step is get them to get it done because we have less than 24 hours before the opening day of SEMA.
Ryan came to me and asked me to design a display that'll just blow everybody's socks off. To put it up, it took us a full day and a half with all the moving pieces, the LED walls, getting everything ready for the experience. This is one of the bigger displays I've done. Definitely the most visible, most prominent. It's high, it's bright, it's loud, and it came together like a well-oiled machine. Dad, this is a game changer right game here. Game changer. Dude, these signs on the side, that's what's up. Like and it. that LED? You <laughs> see how clear the screen is? Oh my Eight god. Years of waiting on that. So I just got the first look at the booth with Scott. I mean, this has been a huge, huge job for him, you know? And this is probably the best booth we have ever done. And when you look around, you can tell. So this is my first time coming to SEMA, which I think is a little ridiculous because my dad is my dad. I think it's good for me to come here and see all these things that he really does. And the place looks awesome. Right now, you know, the night before SEMA, we're in better shape than we've ever been. And it looks better than we've ever looked. Good job, Scott. Thanks, man. Good job. Thank you. This one was tough, I know. But uh, it's amazing. I appreciate I you giving me the time to do it. This. I gotta go look at this wall. This looks, this looks really good. This year, my car is gonna be at the BASF booth, and the paint looks amazing, and we're calling it the white gold. So now, I'm gonna go make sure my car is ready for its big debut. Coming up on West Coast Customs. It's definitely different than everything else at SEMA. This is actually a hands-on booth where people get to learn something. You see how the variation of my dots are? Don't be afraid to get close. I'm steering the wrinkles. C minus. <laughs> <laughs>
So basically, I'm running the students through what I do for a living. I'm a custom painter. I would teach them how to airbrush, the tricks and all the stuff that I do, relay it to the class, and turn them into custom painters. I don't suggest that doing on a car or anything metal. <laughs> You're gonna scratch the crap out of it. I'm never one-handed. It's not stable. Don't be afraid to get close. The closer you are, the less you pull back on your trigger. The further you are away, the more paint's gonna come out, the more you do the fading and the shading kind of area. We start them out with the drills 101 with airbrushing, the dots, the daggers, the, the, the shading, the fading, the, all those techniques using the stencils. And then towards the end of the class, the last hour, we actually take a speed shape, put some graphics to it, put some candy to it, and they walk away with a custom painted speed shape. And now we've got a class full of custom painters. So we're here at SEMA 2013. You know, West Coast Customs always steps up. Seeing this booth that we normally would do, we blew it up. Scott did an amazing job building a, a display of the century right here. Brian brought the game on this year. Nobody's gonna compare to what we have, and I'm excited for this week. My name is Pete Basica. I am the president of Petters USA. Today we're fitting a set of coilovers. We break this ring loose, and we can raise the coilover, or we can lower it by screwing it in. And the ride quality will be excellent because we haven't altered the jounce travel. Jounce travel is the amount of room you have before the bump stop goes hard to the top of the mount. I'm not sure what else West Coast Customs is gonna do, but I doubt it's gonna stop there. Remember the trim slap, man. Huh? We're here at West Coast Castle Experience. I'm gonna teach people how to do headliners, stitching, and how to install seat covers. So it's gonna be fun. I love to be here at SEMA show, you know, to see the people, you know, the West Coast Castle fans, you know, that's only once a year. Without the community, without the fans that watch the show, you know, we would be who we are. So this is the time that we can give them a little bit of what they give us back to them. Later. So it's Tuesday morning, starting off the West Coast experience, and I'm super excited. We've got classes going uh, for the next four days. Here in the audio booth, we're gonna be uh, tearing it up, loading some uh, sub boxes, getting some amplifiers hooked up, rocking the beats, uh, working on these Chryslers, and having a great time. So I'm super excited, we're set up for success, but hey, I gotta get going. My guys are waiting for me, so check in with you later. 10 years ago, if you wanted a, you know, a really good sound system, you, you had to start with the head unit. Chrysler's hit a home run with an amazing system in here already. You put an aftermarket radio in that dash, not only are you gonna, gonna lose that sleek look, but you're gonna lose functionality. It's already got the Bluetooth, it's already got navigation. We're just kind of adding to it by giving it a little bit more oomph by adding that subwoofer. Adding a subwoofer, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll fight that screw later. Let's head to the All back. Right, let's go. West Coast. <laughs> Here we are at SEMA, West Coast Customs booth. We're doing raps all day and teaching some classes, and I'm Paul Henderson, the rapper. We're gonna show them the application, the preparation, and the install part of the raps. And then you wanna make sure you have enough material all the way around, and then you wanna use your hip and just slide it, like that. <laughs> and then you wanna come in, use your elbows, and then you use your wrist. So, who wants to squeegee and have some fun? I'll hold, you get on your knees. I didn't say a word. And we'll come this way a little bit towards me. Just like that, now stop. If I had five hands, I'd have one there, one right here, it's because I'm steering the wrinkles, right? We all wrestle until it's flat. Coming up on West Coast Custom. The three finalists for the Chrysler Custom Challenge, they're displayed in our booth, and now it's time to go pick the winner. It's a really good chance for him to just get to give back to his fans. So one of the cool things about this SEMA experience this year is that we teamed up with Chrysler. They have a cool challenge going on called the Chrysler Custom Challenge. And the three finalists for that challenge are, their cars are displayed in our booth. And now it's time to go pick who the winner is. So we've established a new challenge called the Chrysler uh, Custom Challenge. And, and it's really inviting the uh, owners to show off 
and flex what they've done to their cars, especially with the 300. I love white wheels on white cars. In the grill, I like how it's brushed a little bit with the logo. Really, that's uh, surprising for us. At the same time, makes us really proud of our owners showing off their imaginations, what they can do. And then it also inspires us to do more of this uh, kind of customization uh, to our vehicles. It's go time. All right. The, uh, the winner of the 2013 Chrysler Custom Challenge champion, Oriana. I am here today because my car was chosen as one of the top three finalists in the Custom Chrysler Challenge. I drive a 2013 Chrysler 300S. I just got named as the winner of the entire challenge. So this all happened 15 minutes ago. I'm still taking in the moment. I, I haven't even got an idea of what's next, but I'm sure it's gonna be amazing. So I got to judge the Chrysler Challenge Award, and it was pretty fun working with Saad, working with Pietro, and you know picking the best car out of these three. I mean, they're all three nice cars, but ultimately the white car was my favorite because I could see myself getting in it and driving it every day. So I think she deservingly won. But at the end of the day, they're all great cars. That's why they were the top three. We'll see what happens. Keep our fingers crossed that nobody beats each other up. Hi, my name is Steve Burkett. This is my 2012 Chrysler 300, and it got me into the top three finalists in the Chrysler Custom Challenge. Additions I've done is a, a full carbon fiber hood. Uh, some of the theme underneath here is for breast cancer awareness and for uh, some family members that have passed away. There's nothing on this car that really hasn't been touched. We have our air compressors in the back for the air ride, and since we spend so much time at car shows, we put a nice chest in the back to just always have cold beverages with us. All right, how you doing? My name is Sydney. This is my 2011 Chrysler 300. We've done all the carbon work on the car. Down by the fog lights, the chin spoiler, we deep dish the grill. We've done all carbon accents, killer glass. We also have custom rockers that are done out here. A full carbon trunk, spoiler, and magnet flow exhaust. Accent pieces for the uh, trunk rails. And that's my 2011 Chrysler 300. This is my 2013 Chrysler 300S, and this is the car that got me first place in the Custom Chrysler Challenge. Under the hood, I've done a couple of things, including a cold air intake and a glass radiator hose on top of the 5.7 liter Hemi engine that I ordered the car directly from Chrysler with. I've also added a three-piece, 22-inch staggered concave wheel. They've been custom painted, white spokes, brushed lip, and they sit on Nitto Performance tires. As we come towards the back of the car, I've added some pin striping and the tag I had imported from Detroit in shadow letters just for a little subtle change to the car. And that is my 2013 Chrysler 300. Steve Burkett, I'm one of the Chrysler finalists. So now that the contestants are here, we're gonna run them through the classes. So they're gonna be a part of the West Coast Customs Experience. They'll do the interior, they'll do some paint, they'll do some you know, accessory work, we'll bolt on some wheels and tires, you know, whatever we gotta do to get these cars done. It's cool to have them a part of it since they are a part of the booth and they're gonna be here all day with us. Might as well make them a part of this experience. So we got Oriana on the front row. It's been a half an hour, 45 minutes into it. I'm gonna have her custom painting within four hours. So you can do cool stuff like this too, and I can come back in and add the highlights. So I just got through finishing up the painting class and it was amazing. So it's a keychain slash bottle opener. Isn't that cool? Well, I've never touched an airbrush before in my life, so that was really cool because whether the guys in here who've been doing it for years or someone who's never done it before, Ryan went through and did every technique start to finish patiently, so there was something in it for everybody, and I didn't feel like I was as new to this as I am. Now, you see how the variation of my dots are? I'm not sure which class I'm gonna do next, but what I'm gonna do is go find out what's available and see which, where I can fit in today. Put the phone back where it was, and then grab the glue gun. Like, if you, if you just hold it in one spot, that's what happened. Yeah. See, but you go like this, like, got you. Easy. See? <laughs> Today, I learned how to do fabric with ish. I learned how to do vinyl wraps. I also learned how to do suspension and things of that nature. I had a great time today. 
C minus. <laughs> no, hey, Thanks, plus. man. I appreciate hey, it. Plus. Hey, plus, <laughs> That's really good. All right. I want to thank Ryan. I want to thank West Coast Customs. I also want to thank Chrysler for this great experience that I had here. And I want to do it again. Simple. Bada bing, bada boom. Back. Uh, I had a great time. I uh, just finished up the upholstery class, the vinyl wrap class, and the painting. Uh, it's been a great time. Had a, had a lot of fun. I want to thank Ryan from West Coast Customs and Chrysler. Got a lot of hands-on experience. But it's time to go home and start building for our vehicles for next year. Hope we'll be back out in the same location. See? Beautiful. She's doing really good, man. I'm impressed. And I'm afraid. She might take <laughs> over my job. No time soon. Here we go. Awesome. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Wes Collis, and thank you, Chrysler. Coming up on West Coast Customs. So this is a really special SEMA. Ryan is with me. It's his first year at SEMA, and BSF said, you know what, can we display Ryan's car and unveil it in our booth? Oh my god, there's so many cameras. Part of what makes West Coast Customs so successful is partnering with the best. So this year we brought them along with us, some new, some old, to really set up their product and show what they do. It's been a great week at SEMA 2013. We have a very innovative relationship with West Coast Customs. We supply Ryan with a bunch of equipment. We developed some new uh, welding helmets with his name on it this year, and we've brought our new CNC plasma cutter into the show. We're cutting out West Coast Custom logos and handing it out to all the people that are here at SEMA. Almost to the point where we can't keep up with the amount of people that want West Coast Custom signs. It, it's just been awesome. We realize that West Coast Customs make the best products, best conversions. We make the best equipment for the upholstery and for the embroidery. So it was a great time to have West Coast Customs, Conso, Meistergram as partners. We're proud to be sponsors of West Coast Customs. That's Ryan's kingdom right here in Vegas. When I first got here, I was really blown away. Game changer right Game here. Game changer. My dad has been doing the show for a really long time. I think something like 14 years. He just put so much effort into this booth, and I think it's a really good chance for him to just get to give back to his fans. I get to go around with them, so it's all up, all the better. This thing, I got a tire as big as you. I don't get lost. <laughs> So this is a really special SEMA because really Ryan has grown up in my shop and he's always known, you know, dad goes to SEMA every year at this time, blah, blah, blah. He's never really been able to be a part of it. This year he's with me. And the cool thing is, is recently he's been working on his own car with the guys in the shop and BSF seen it, they loved it and said, you know what, can we display Ryan's car and unveil it in our booth? And I think that's something really cool. You know, his first year at SEMA, he gets to experience SEMA, but at the same time, he gets his own car unveiled. It's gonna be a pretty big day for him. So now it's time to go over to the BSF booth and we're gonna pull the cover off his car. He did a good job What's on up? this car. Did you see it? I haven't seen it yet, but uh, I heard about it. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the BSF booth. My name's Paul Whittleston. I'm the vice president for the automotive refinish business here in North America. And today, we're very proud to be unveiling the West Coast Customs 2013 Scion FRS with Ryan Friedling House and his son has been heavily involved with making this car. The color of the car is a custom color developed by Ryan and his son, and it's called White Gold. And at this stage, I'd like to hand over to yourself, Ryan, make a few comments, and then do the unveiling. Thank you. 
So obviously this was a super important build for us as a father-son team, you know, being a part of this business for such a long time, coming to SEMA so many years after years after years, and then actually building his first car in the shop with my guys, playing the role of me. Got something special to show you guys, you ready? This is my first car right here. Basically, that's the son. Oh, yeah. So you got it, homeboy, you got it. All right, get the back wheels pulled off. Call me if you need my help. Really? You got this, dude. Come on, we okay. just did that in 10 minutes. It's a pretty big day, and honestly, he's going to be 16 and then a couple weeks. Kind of crazy. But uh, you want to say something? I just think it's been a good experience to build the car, and it's really good to do this type of things with your dad. All right, let's pull the cover off. I think everybody's ecstatic about this car and the fact that we had such a big turnout here today to see the unveiling is credit not only to the car but also to Ryan and his artistic talent. People want to come and see it. So next we'll let little Ryan enjoy it but just make sure he's got his license and everything in place first. Oh my God, there's so many cameras. Let's <laughs> keep focused on sets. It's going really well, you know? It's been one of those little bit of a whirlwind, whole bunch of stuff going on, getting set up, because this is such a huge experience and so many different moving parts. It's tough, you know? But I think at the end of the day, all the fans are happy, all the classes are happy, the cars are getting done, our partners are happy. I mean, really, we're having a good time. Let's go! Signed autographs with my son, in the sun. It's been a ton of work already. The problem is, we're only halfway through. Stay tuned. Coming up on West Coast Customs. One of the things we really want to go big with this year is the entertainment. So I'm going to have my friend Ben Korn there doing tattoos live, and then something really special to really blow these fans' minds. So one of the things we really want to go big with this year is the entertainment. Since there's a lot of stuff going on in the booth, there's always something fun to show the fans. So I'm gonna have my friend Ben Korn there doing tattoos live. I invited the Monster Kids out so they can DJ, they can dance for the fans. And then something really special is I invited my friend David Garibaldi out to really blow these fans' minds. So uh, it was time, you know, I seen everybody over here getting tattoos. Since he's here, I might as well sit down and get it done. My name is David Garibaldi. I'm an artist, performance painter, but also CEO of Garibaldi Enterprises, Inc. I do shows all over the world from Paris to Tokyo and uh, somewhere in between I met Ryan and I was a big fan of his and he got to see what I did and immediately we we're like we've got to work together. B-Boy Little Turbo from the Chi-Town Finest Breakers, AKA the Monster Kids. I'm a professional break dancer. When I'm not break dancing with my family, I'm with my brother DJ E Fresh hosting and making the crowd excited. Three, two, one. Hi, I'm at Youngest Monster DJ, DJ E Fresh. 
Here at SEMA West Coast 2013 experience. I'm having a blast. It's my first time here. My kids breaking it down on stage for the West Coast Customs 2013 experience. After our episode from Ryan and West Coast Customs hooking us up, hooking up our family with the Monster Kid Sprinter. Uh, we just established a positive relationship. We kept in touch, you know, letting Ryan know all our new projects and traveling all over. So when Ryan hit me up, he was like, Henry, you and your family, They want that. And having the kids have their own stage with the LED lightings in the background with their Monster Kids logo and their names all on it, it's nice. It's very nice. Ryan hooked it up. We love West Coast Customs! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. So one of the things we've been recently working on with our partners, Avery Dennison, is the Rap Like a King Challenge. Rap Like a King was a national bracket style competition where in rap installers across the United States submitted before and after photos of their rap project. And they're judged by the fans and by me. So I'm about to go up on stage and meet the king. And we're happy to announce the winner. We're very picky when it comes to details, so every little thing has to be 100%. And that color was perfect. It's an ultra matte red color. At the time when Art contacted me, that color was not available from any manufacturer on the market. So I went back and forth with Avery and worked hard with them, and we came up with this color. Art went nuts, started, started his great work. We had over 160 projects submitted and over 12,000 votes for his project in the final round. So actually, um, next year I will actually do 10 times better. Coming up on West Coast Customs. SEMA's almost over, but I have another competition with Chrysler. We built it in the booth during the West Coast Customs experience, and now I'm gonna go hand him the keys. I even got a little tribute to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> So this year was the best SEMA show we've ever done. When I got there and got to see this booth set up, I mean, we looked at it before, but seeing it in person with all the LED walls and everything that was going on, it was simply amazing. AES really went all out on this one. We had the workstations where we had electronics, we had interior, we had wheels and tires being put on, we had a wrap being done in one booth, and then we had our portable spray booth. In the other side of the booth, we had an awesome VIP area, LED wall with the stage where the performances could go on. And I think the best part of the booth was definitely the DJ above, DJ and up top, and then an area where we could display all of our new product. The classes were successful. We had three completed cars, happy fans. The Monster Kids came through, they did their magic. David Garibaldi came through and really blew people's minds. I don't think they were expecting that. And then of course we had all the fans coming through getting autographs, and then some of our celebrity friends stopped by. Honestly, it was the best booth we've ever had. So SEMA's almost over, but I have one more thing to do. We have another competition that was going on with Chrysler, the Design to Drive competition. The winner is about to see his car. The cool thing about this car is we built it in the booth during the West Coast Customs experience, and now I'm gonna go hand him the keys. So we're building a 200 and a 300 in a booth, but most importantly, we're building a town and country for our friends at Chrysler for their Design to Drive contest. Now, Craig is lucky enough to win, but I think he has no idea what he really won. So I'm gonna go grab him, take him over to his van, show him what the guy surprised him with, and hopefully he's as happy as I am to do this. How you doing? Good, how you doing? Good. We're here at SEMA to uh, see our car for the first time that Ryan and the whole crew at West Coast Customs is uh, done for us. I'm a huge Chrysler fan. I thought it would be a good opportunity to win something for our family. So the class is still doing the final touches on it right now, but 
it's a good way to kind of see where we are so far. Right. So we got the wrap on, the matte gray wrap, which is kind of cool, you know. You don't really see this color anywhere. I never thought I'd be this excited to drive a minivan. Right? I know. That's like the thing. <laughs> I, I always like, thought, you know, I'm never going to own a minivan. Changes the story a yeah, little bit. Oh, yeah. yeah. But we did black suede headliner in it, you know, the suede seats, red stitching. They added a subwoofer in it, put wheels on it. And at the end of the day, you can peel it off and change it whenever you want. We saw the car. It exceeded our expectations. They did a great job. The interior is awesome. The wrap on it is fantastic. Yeah, I'm just speechless. When I first saw it, I don't know that I knew what to say. It's, it's awesome. It's fantastic. Good for you guys. So you're gonna you guys have kids? We have six kids. Yeah, six oh, kids. you have six? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Our okay, kids cool. are going to love it. Yeah. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Did you get a tattoo here, too? Thank I you. did. You know what? Nice. <laughs> nice. Got it yesterday. From Ben, my artist? Yeah, with this whole experience, I even got a little tribute to you guys. <laughs> nice. That's dope. Yeah. I, I just seen that. The first one ever. Really? Yep. Wow, congratulations. Then. That's cool. <laughs> that was a good experience. Then. Oh, yeah. I'm super stoked for them because I think at the end of the day, you know, they won a great van, but I don't think they had any idea that West Coast Customs was going to do the work to it and then surprise them here at the SEMA show. They got to experience the SEMA show. They got to see their van getting built, and they're going to enjoy it for a long time. All right, man. Thank you. Thank you. Nice Thank to meet you. you. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, West Coast Customs. We appreciate everything that you've done for us. This is definitely an experience we'll remember for the rest of our lives. Thank you, Ryan, and West Coast Customs. You guys have all been great. So this year, it was my first time being here, obviously, and then we got, I got to go around with him and do all the autographs, so I think it was a pretty cool experience. I think it's funny how people really like admire my dad because like I look at to him as just a father figure and then all these people look to him as like an idol so I think it's crazy seeing those two worlds put together. It's official. It's the last day of SEMA. There's been a ton of chaos throughout the week. When I got here the first day and seen the setup, I was blown away because this is the best setup we've ever had in the history of our business. You know, everybody came together as a team. It looked amazing. I got to meet with a ton of fans. What can I say? We had a great show. So now the next step is get everybody packed up, loaded, get back to West Coast so we can get back to work. Next week on West Coast Customs. We've done some crazy builds over the years, and now it's time to look back at the best. This car is absolutely amazing. Oh! <laughs> this is unbelievable.